Hi and welcome to the Imbalance Trader. This video that I'm making today is a hard video to make. It's something that is very personal and this year I have a goal. The goal is to make one million dollars to get funded up to a million dollars through prop firms, one or two combined, whatever that is, to get to that point. And in process of doing that, I decided to document and record everything that goes into it until the end of the year, which will be a goal and a dedication for, for this channel. It's going to be a series of documentation of the ups and downs, the losses, the psychology and everything. It is something that is hard because, you know, when you are posting video about trading and you want to create a community that is informative and trade trading fr friendly you want to show your your skill in the market and the things that you know that you have learned and accumulated you want to show it to other people right so that they can stick the subscribe to the subscribe to the channel and you grow a community where you guys can learn you guys can share share stuff and then you can inspire someone else like you have been inspired before hopefully the through that process you reach your goal as well as you inspire someone else on the way however most of us don't really show all of the losses that happen in the market all of the you know all of the breakdown like you know you may take a trade you have bad trading days we don't show that part and in the process of recording this challenge i know that those are things that may happen throughout the process and just being vulnerable, showing that part of trading that is not always rosy, but we still believe that we can make it. And then we still trust in our process, in our structure, in our trading plan to make it happen. I have my goal. I just stated my goal earlier. So goal is to hit $1 million in prop firm trading. And the process of that start be with one challenge, passing one challenge at a time and moving on to the next one. So this is going to be a mini series of a lot of episodes. You are going to see a lot of episodes of this mini series coming up. But every single series is important for me as a person, uh, for my authenticity, for, for the genuinity of what I want to put out and to find my true self right not just hiding behind the nice way into 15 hour risk reward ratio on the trade but showing the, the human part of trading that it's ups and down but as long as you're resilient you can make it and that's what i'm setting out to do with this video but before we get to that point i want to disclose that, that i've already started the challenge a week prior to this video this is a sunday of january january 8th and ideally that should have been the beginning of the, the trading but as you know in trading psychology you get greedy and stuff you get in the market and you do something stupid and i did that so currently the account is down two percent because of the trade that I took last week uh, be ignorant of the news and yeah I didn't trade NFP by just being ignorant of news and just going in the market recklessly I had good bias but I just traded at a bad time in the market I will show you guys like you know where the account is at and what are the trading what are my trading plan for this challenge and how I am planning on passing the challenge so in total I got 42 days on the channel because I bought the challenge by the end of december and my forex fund was doing a promotion where if you buy a challenge in december they will have give you 10 percent off plus uh 12 the 12 days extension so instead of getting 30 days you get 42 days for the for the challenge which is what i got and i think i got about 40 to 38 days left on the challenge so i am gonna break down my trading plan in order to pass the challenge and what are the specific requirements in order to pass the challenge? So in order to pass the challenge, I need to get to 10% or 8% of the account, which is $24,000. So I have to make $24,000 to pass the challenge. I have I cannot lose more than $18,000 in one trading days. 
and I cannot lose more than $36,000. So those are the scopes that I will be trading in. Those are the requirements, the limits that I cannot breach in order to pass the challenge. Now, what are my trading plan? My trading plan are pretty simple. I already have my structure built way before starting the challenge. So I know what I'm going to stick with. But the rules for me are pretty simple. Uh, in the six trading days, I will only be trading three days and I will only trade one session one trading session three days in a week this is pretty much my my strategy i'll be trading tuesdays wednesday and thursday i will only trade new york session which uh where i live right now that will be 4 a.m pacific time and that pretty much 7 a.m in new york and and then in terms of risk per trade i'll be risking 0.5 percent on le or less because i'm already in drawdown so i don't want to lose more than what i already have so 0.5 percent risk is something that is manageable for me so about 1500 dollar per trade then the number of trade that i will be taking in a day will be one to two trade minimum one maximum two we're not gonna try to push ourselves and take too many trades just to pass the challenge i got 40 days i'm gonna take it as slow as i can and then as efficient as possible in terms of, term of my entries, in terms of the number of the trade that I'm taking, and then in terms of the, the frequency of my trading. The more I trade, I know that the more I'm putting myself at risk. So specifying those things for myself makes it much easier for me to get the challenge and then to feel confident with my trading plan and going into the, the market feeling confident knowing what i'm doing and then knocking the, the challenge down now in terms of risk to reward ratio i know that i can say that okay i'm aiming for like one to three or one to five risk on every single trade those are something that is really possible during the trading uh, the trading session however the minimum risk to reward ratio that i will have on the trading uh, on the on each trade will be one to two one to two risk to reward ratio one to two trades per day this is something that i can manage and then i will aim for a 50 percent win win rate i'm not trying to tell you that i got a 100 percent win rate strategy i don't i i'm not too sure about that uh but i think 50 percent is something that i can aim for and it's plausible and it's manageable i'm not gonna put myself into like you know all of the pressure of making every single trade However, I understand that there are some losses that will come in a way. So 50% is what, it is what makes sense. One to two risk reward is what makes sense, which means in the worst case scenario, I will have 4% left on the account, which will lead me to get a repetition and reduce that to next month or, and, or whenever I'm ready. However, when I say minimum of risk to reward is one to two, it doesn't mean that every single trade is just gonna give me one to two. One to two is where I take my partial and cover my trade. But there are gonna be some runners, and the runners are gonna be the things that I will be counting on to pass the challenge. Because I know with my plan, I can either be a break even of four percent of the account, which means I can retake the test. And with my runner, I know that my runner can put me up another four percent, will make eight percent, and I can pass the challenge by then. So this is a trading plan nothing too crazy uh in terms of trading strategy i'll be using uh, ict 2022 mentor mentorship entry technique which is on youtube everybody can go and check it out uh i'm more comfortable with it i tried it it works uh i've been trying it i use it to pass my first challenge and hopefully it will help me pass this one as well so that's pretty simple the currency pairs that i will trade in terms of forex is going to be euro usd i'm not touching any other pair because my trading plan kind of like restrict me to only one pair i don't want the distraction of 20 pairs or 20 sharp at the same time so i will be focusing on euro usd alone and in terms of indices i will be focusing on S&P 500, uh, you, you will see in my analysis that I will be having US 30 and NASDAQ on the chart as well. However, I will just use them as indicator for me to 
have a grasp of the market and have a narrative on how price is moving, price action, etc. So those are the things that I will that we will see recurrently as I'm trading, and I will be showing like you know my trade, etc. In terms of indicators, the only indicator that I will be using is Fibonacci. Uh, I don't consider it as much as indicator, but it gives me key level to trade off. In terms of bias, it will be focusing on daily, four hour, and one hour. And then in terms of execution, it's going to be focusing on 15 minutes, 5 minutes, or 1 minute. Those are going to be my execution time frame. It's going to be a fast entry. You have to be comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with scalping. I don't do too much day trading. I don't like staying in the market too much. I don't, want, I don't like spending hours waiting on a trade. So 1 to 2 hours a day or 3 hours, I enter a trade. I get my result. I'm out. As it's a win, as it's a loss, I should be fine with whatever result it is because I know what is involved whenever trading. So those are the things that you will you will be expecting throughout this series and throughout the documentation of this series. I will show you the losses, I will show you the, the wins. And hopefully I pass the challenge because that's what that that is what this is about. It's about showing other people that the things that we have been working for and hoping can work and that if you put in the time the work it may happen so hopefully yeah, it's the same happened to me and then it can inspire you as well it is a little bit scary because you know the vulnerability and opening more and then just being transparent with you all hopefully we can build that relationship hopefully we can build a good community that you can learn from me i can learn from you through the comments through your like through uh, your advices and then you know there are a lot of bad things already going on in the world so as well as long as we can contribute to each other growth that's for the better right and then lastly one thing that you will see today is gonna be the regular sunday back testing that i do before i get into the week which are just like you know regular trade analysis getting ready for the week and then what to expect speculation fundamentals we are going to touch a little bit like on news because most of the time when i trade i trade impact news so you will see me analyzing the news as well and what is going on in the market and i hope i got you guys support and just a reminder that i'm doing this for me as well i don't want to come out here on the internet and lie to you guys and lie to myself as well because i kind of felt it uh when i was starting to like post video on youtube uh the i had like couple good months of good streak where i was you know doing like a week i was showing streak of like 15 hour trade wins etc but then the moment i start losing it becomes hard to like you know take the phone shoot that and post it and it's kind of scary like you know you f tell yourself like oh god i don't get this shit at all i'm a phony etc and you you feel kind of like shameful in a way and i think the point is just to be transparent don't want to like be another fake out there and just just giving what is right like what is true like what is happening when we're trading in our life and on a daily basis and as long as we can make good content we can inspire other people i think it's for the better for me the journey has just got started you heard my plan and that's something that i'm really excited about and i think i can make it happen in this year so let's go man let's let's get it done let's get it through keep following the video you will see update every single week uh it's gonna be a weekly basis videos on how the weeks are going how close I'm, i am to passing the challenge and what are the things that are happening what are the lessons i'm learning and then you know i will be putting the the little gem like you know the knowledge from experience out there as well so hopefully if you like it if you like the journey like the video subscribe share it to people that you know that have been in trading and want that needs that kind of like inspiration and uh you know let's go man let's get it done until next time i wish you good trading